The next topic of this evening is the resolve that zoos should be banned. For the motion, David. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> when you consider the modern zoo, what we have is very much like the traditional zoo, the old zoo, the prototypical uh, zoo, the, the case of a bunch of concrete cages, steel bars, and animals penned up <coughs> for the amusement of humans. And I find that there's something inherently distasteful about that. Why should an animal be given a life sentence <coughs> for something it had not done at all? That kind of thing <coughs> is abhorrent if you were treated that way, but we seem to think that it's okay to treat animals this, this way. As long as they're there to, to amuse and titillate humans, uh, that that kind of thing is all right, and I find it, find it outrageous, disgraceful. The other thing about this, what, what it engenders in, in people is a kind of speciesism, a disdain or a contemptuous um, disdain for, 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 for other species, uh, that somehow we are above them. And this leads, I think, to, to, um, to um, a contemptuous disdain for, 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 for animal life in general and other species. And what, what, the, what the zoo does is it engenders a, a contemptuous uh, indifference uh, to the plight of animals in, in, our, in our own affairs in so many other ways, with wildlife and the invasion of habitats and so forth. So I believe that the zoo is, is central in, in engendering that kind, of, uh, that kind of disdain. And I think that if we do away with them, we would be, be much better off. The uh, animal life is not, not helped in zoos. The, the animals do not live the long lifespan that they do in the wild in zoos. Zoos are very bad on animal health. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. And now to speak against the motion, Michael. told by the government that uh, zoos are being cruel to animals. Well, I suggest that animals in the zoo get the best of care. They get the proper food balance. They have veterinarian care. They're warm. They're fed. They're cared for. Um, they're, they're, it's a very civilized place for an animal to be as opposed to the jungle, which is totally uncivilized. I suggest that nature is far more cruel to animals than a zoo is. Uh, if the, uh, the government has watched any nature television and looked at the African safari, um, uh, has he ever seen a, a group of uh, tigers take down and kill and eat a uh, gazelle or a zebra? Um, is that uh, not cruel? Uh, has he ever seen a male lion eat the young uh, from a female lion's um, group so that he could have mating rights with that female? It happens all the time in the wild. That's cruel, ladies and gentlemen. I suggest that we are more cruel to people than we are to animals. We cram people in cities, and more important, cram them into little condominiums and apartment buildings. That's a cage, ladies and gentlemen. Should we ban apartment buildings? Ladies and gentlemen, we cram people into office cubicles. It's, in, it's inhuman. They're cages at the, at the best of times. Should we be banning office buildings? We cram people in buses and subway cars. Should we be banning those, ladies and gentlemen? Zoos preserve endangered species. Uh, zoos work together to, to preserve species that in the wild um, would not survive. And we all know this, that uh, zoos uh, help endangered species. They build up their numbers to the number where they can then let them out in the wild. Um, and they can then enjoy uh, perhaps a, a shorter, but uh, someone might say a different kind of life anyway. Um, uh, zoos foster an appreciation for wildlife among uh, particularly children. They provide a valuable economic and, and family attraction that is important to our, our communities. And um, uh, I think that we all have been to zoos. I have a feeling my, part of my opposition hasn't been to one, maybe the Riverdale Zoo. Sorry. What does that mean? That's one. One day. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, given a choice, if you could take that uh, gazelle that's being chased by a pride of lions and say, listen, right now, what would you rather be? Followed by these 
pride of hungry gazelle, uh, lions, or would you like to be at the Toronto Zoo waiting for them to come up with your mashed lamb dinner? I would suggest they take that. But if you were the, uh, the, the heron in a, in a river and a crocodile's coming up to eat your legs, would you like to be in the Toronto Zoo? The life expectancy of zoo is three times that of an animal in the wild. If the animals choose to be in the zoo, why would we ban them? Ladies and gentlemen, this is preposterous, almost as much as the proposal of the city to sell the zoo, which is another thing. I guess we'll have to agree to disagree on the lifespan of animals in the, in, in the zoo. The uh, opposition mentions that uh, we cram people into condos and into cars and into confined spaces. No, we don't. They willingly enter condos and cars and confined spaces. Animals do not willingly enter zoos. You don't go out to the Toronto Zoo and see a lineup of gazelles waiting to get in. <laughs> preservation goes on in game conservation areas, not in zoos. For example, we notice lots of sightings of, of uh, animals, uh, large animals in, in packs in national parks because they know they're safe there. But that's quite a, quite a, a difference from uh, simply being pinned up in a cage. And yes, the gazelle may choose to take the cage or run from lions, but the lions would certainly rather Take the gazelle in the water. Thank you. And now, if we can vote for the motion, please. Eight. And against the motion? Nine. Woo. Against the motion, Michael.